what's going on guys so today i wanted to show you my original barbarian now this barbarian build dates back to the year 2000 2001 so at this time there was you know you were very limited on the items that you could get in the game there was no enigma no grief and a lot of the uniques weren't in the game either so i'm just gonna gonna give you guys an idea of what it was like to to play a barbarian during those times and what kind of items you know uh, a very rich barbarian at that time would be using so the most valuable item from this build is probably the grandfather sword now this was one of the most valuable and one of the most rare items in 2000 and 2001 and it was just very hard to come by it was almost unheard of that you had an item like this it was really high up there with items like the wind force bow and things like that and you were basically a god if you had one of these weapons like this and that goes for a lot of the other items in this build too you know a lot of these items were really hard to come by and you know nowadays they're not very very valuable but back in the day everything on this build was basically a, as good as it gets unless you had like bugged items or duped items or, or things like that so if i'm using the grandfather sword ariot's face the eye of etlich shaft stop storm shield and storm shield was one of the most popular items in the game also sorceresses used to use this shield all the time in many other classes because you know you were very limited on the items that were available and storm shield just all around gave you know a huge bonus to to a lot of stuff for characters back in the day you know the the high resistances and the high damage reduction and the high chance of, of block rate and things like that made this shield really valuable and, and re really useful for many builds back in the day so now i'm using gore rider boots to raven frost viper fang belt and i'm using blood fist gloves and i'm also using all war cry skill grand charms and you know also back in the day there were no torches or anis or anything like that and probably the other so another sword that was really good back in the day was the doombringer um this sword wa was pretty fucking awesome you know 20 percent to increase maximum life and a bunch of other good stuff you know it was a really really good good find back in the day and um you know even leviathan wasn't available during this time like i was saying this is patch 1.09 once patch 1.10 came out you know the rune words came out and you know dozens of new uniques came out most of the hell hell level uniques on diablo 2 were not available during this time so um you know it's kind of important just to keep just to keep that in mind while i'm telling you guys and, and showing you this video about this old barbarian so and then my mercenaries using the grandfather sword, which would be absolutely ridiculous to have back in the day. Um, Shaft stop and vampire gaze, gaze, which was also a you know very rare item back in the day. A lot of life leech and damage reduced, and um, you know vampire gaze was one of the big items to have back in the day. So, but um, this is a whirlwind barbarian, and I'm also half berserk, also. So I'm just going to show you guys some gameplay on, on uh, Hell Difficulty. I'm not even going to go into an 8 player game because it won't, I'm telling you guys it won't even work. Like I might just show you it but you know the damage is so low back in the day. I mean back then it's it was like unheard of to just you know one character be able to solo 8 player chaos you know. So let's just get into some gameplay here and I'll show you guys what it's like. I'm sure you guys really get that old school feeling because I'm, I'm sure you've seen a lot of barbarians looking like this back in the day with the, the sword and the shield and, and things like that. But as you can see my, my whirlwind, you know, my whirlwind is maxed out and you know it's really not doing that much damage. You know, it, it will eventually get to him, but, you know, it's just the damage is really low back then. You know, Berserk does pretty good. That's why I like just running around and, and swinging stuff. 
But um, I'm not too sure on this, but I'm pretty sure that Whirlwind Barbarians used to do a lot more damage back in the day. Um, or they, there was just something there. Something I think they nerfed with Whirlwind, but you know, I'm not totally sure on that. So and then I'm doing about 2k Whirlwind damage and 4k Berserk damage. So, um, you know, probably the best thing to do with this build for me is to just go around and um, use Berserk. And I really like the way the Barbarians looked back in the day with the sword and the shield and, um, you know, the Barbarian helmet. I just always thought it looked really badass and cool and, you know, a lot of builds, um, Barbarian builds don't do that nowadays, so... As you can see, I mean, even with these skeletons here, I mean, skeletons are easy to kill. And, you know, I'm just not doing that much damage. But, I mean, you got to think, though, like I was saying, a lot of things weren't available at that time. And to do this type of damage back in the day was actually really good. And, you know, a lot of people didn't don't quite understand how the game was, was like so many years ago. And... But, you know, I kind of like the challenge. I, I like the challenge uh, of how hard it was back in the day. You know, nowadays it's really easy to just, you know, get a hammered in set up and then you're just plowing through monsters like, you know, like the game's on super easy mode or something, you know. And, you know, I really liked the challenge back in the day. So... It was just, you know, it was a different time for the game. And, um, you know, once patch 1.10 came out, you know, and all the enigmas and, you know, Chains of Honor and all that crazy stuff came out, it completely changed the game forever, you know. And a lot of builds like this one, you know, weren't very popular anymore. But, um, you know, it's definitely fun to kind of, you know, respect the history of the game and, and kind of go back and, you know, think about what the game used to be like and, and how things were back in the day. Because that's when, um, you know, that's when Diablo was at its, you know, prime, you know, biggest prime, you know, was back in the day when there weren't any rune words and, and things like that. I mean, this game was really popping back in the day. I mean, if you were able to just go around on hell mode and be able to, you know, kill monsters, I mean, you were basically a freaking god in this game. You know, it was really hard. You had to group up with people and, you know, everyone didn't have the best gear and, you know, sometimes it had a lot to do with luck and, and just coming across like a storm shield or something like that. So... But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, you know, I just kind of wanted to show you guys what a classic barbarian would be like and kind of show you guys what it was like a little bit back in the day. And I think a lot of you can, can uh, relate to that, you know, that old school feel to Diablo 2 is kind of gone now and, um, you know, I think it's always fun to go back and get all these old items and, you know, just play the build and, you know, just get those old memories back, you know. Just let me know in the comment section which um, old school classic build you guys would like me to do next. If you guys have any ideas for that. And, um, you know, new videos will be here every Monday. Make sure you guys subscribe if you want to keep up with Diablo 2 content. And um, also join our Discord if you guys haven't. Um, you know, we have a really good community on there. I try to be on there every single day. Um, helping out people that, that are coming back to Diablo too, you know, if they want to get rushed or, you know, if they need help with their items or if they need help killing the ancients, you know, or something like that. Um, you know, there's always myself or, you know, dozens of other people that are, are really dedicated to the little community that we have on Discord. So um, I hope you guys check that out if you guys ever do want to come and play Diablo too. So, um, I just hope you guys enjoyed the video and um, I'll see you guys next time.